What is cloud computing? Cloud computing is ubiquitous today. Why? Why is it that cloud is so popular today? Pretty simple. The infrastructure to access cloud resources has matured and dependable today. Before we go into cloud computing, let's talk about what is cloud. Cloud can be a generic term that we can use because you and I and everybody have been using cloud services for a long time. Simple example. Do you use fuel for your car? Do you use power in your house? Do you use a telephone, be it a standard landline or a mobile or a handphone? Given that you are using all this, do you have an oil refinery to produce oil? Do you have a power generation plant to produce your own power? Do you have your own cellular network or a telephone network to make calls? No, but you have still been using the service wherein you did not invest upfront on the infrastructure to generate whatever resource you want, but you have been using the service from a provider who has upfront invested in it and you consume and pay for what you use. Another simple example is you could own your own car and use it or hire a cab or a taxi or an Uber and just pay for what you use. That's the foundation of cloud. Cloud computing is using computer resources on the cloud wherein the vendor has invested in the computer software hardware and you as a customer consume the resources and pay for what you use. That's the foundation of cloud computing. So what is it that has made it so popular today? The infrastructure to access, which is the network, the internet has increased in its connectivity, increased in its speed, reduced in latency, and thereby it becomes easier for customers to access the cloud infrastructure from wherever they want. This is a simple look at what is cloud computing. But then what's the benefit for a customer? Number one, the customer does not have to upfront invest in the hardware, software. And number two, the customer does not have to have highly qualified, expensive professionals like you and me to have them in their organization to manage the entire infrastructure. The cloud vendor has those people and they will manage it at the vendor side, whereas the customer just uses the services. How do you access it? You just need a browser interface to manage resources. Typically, all cloud vendors also provide a command line interface to manage it. Plus, to access the software that is running in, you just need internet access. Typically, depending on what kind of service that is taken up, there is services in the form of infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service, based on which type of service, who owns what is defined. We will look into these as we look at the cloud offerings video. So to summarize, cloud computing is all about using the cloud infrastructure vendors resources. The customer pays for what he or she uses in a metered format, just like how a cab based on the number of kilometers you run, you pay the cab driver same way. The customer pays the cloud vendor depending on the resources that has been used for a particular period of time.